In this video, we are going to take a look at how to construct a suffix try given a word. So let's start using an example. Let's say the word we want to build the suffix try for is minimize. So the first step is to identify the suffixes of minimize. So the first suffix is just the letter E. Then we include Z, so it becomes ZE. Then we include I, so it becomes IZE, and so on. So these are going to be the suffixes of minimize. Now in the try that we build, these are going to be the set of strings we have to include. So these are going to be part of our S. So let's start by drawing the standard try for this. So I'm going to start with the root. Then we have just an E. Then we have ZE, then we have IZE, then we have MIZE, Then we have I M I Z E. So I already have an I here. Then I have N I M I Z E. Then I have I N I M I Z E, so I. Then I have M I N I M I Z E. So this is going to be our standard try. Now the next step is to draw the compressed try. So let's see in this try where there is scope for compression. So we can compress this, can compress this, we can compress ZE, we can compress ZE here as well. So now with this we can construct the compressed try. So this is going to be our compressed try. Now after this we have to represent the compressed try using numbers. So now the indexes of minimize are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 
Now, in our representation of compressed rice in the previous video, we gave it as I, J, N, K. I will represent the word of S. Now, since minimize is going to be the same word, we are not going to include I. In every node, we are only going to give the starting and the ending index. That is, we are only going to give J and K. So, let's see what the representation of the compressed try looks like now. So, we have E. E starts at 7 and ends at 7. Then I have I. I starts at 5 and ends at 5. Then I have MI. So, MI starts at 4 and ends at 5. Then I have NI, MI, ZE, which starts at 2 and ends at 7. And then I have ZE, which starts at 6 and ends at 7. Now, a question may arise is that, suppose I have I, why am I taking this I and not that I? Because in our suffix try, we'll first come across this I, ZE. So, the first time we create an I will be due to this I. That is, starting at 5 and ending at 5. Now, let's go to the next layer. We have MIZE, which is 4 to 7. We have NIMIZE, which is 2 to 7. And then we have ZE, which is 6 to 7. Now, for MI, we have NIMIZE which is going to be from 2 to 7 and ZE which is going to be from 6 to 7. With that we have finished representing our compressed try. So this is how you build a suffix try for a given word.